What's up, Nail Geeks? I am back with Fandom Flaky's April 2021 box to show you guys. This month we have the Guest Maker Baby Girl Lacquer, and we have some extra goodies from Rivets and Stickets per usual. So let's dive right into the swatches. First up is Bee's Knees Lacquer Consort. This is a hollow flaky bomb filled with glowy silver hollow flakes and a scattering of gold hollow flakes that shift to red and purple. So this has a bit of squish to the formula and it is just so lovely and sparkly. For opacity, I'm gonna suggest between two and three coats. This is definitely gonna depend on how you apply. If you tend to go in very thin, you might need that third coat, but I personally went in normally and I found that two coats was perfect to cover up my smile line. This dries down uh, semi-flat. I had no issues with texture or anything, so I think any top coat will be perfectly fine with it. Uh, a glossy top coat will really help those sparkles to pop. And next is Night Owl Lacquer's Frailty. This is a light gray with purple to red to copper to gold, crystal chameleon flakes, and charcoal flakes. So this has a very true jelly formula to it. It's got quite a bit of a squish factor. So I'm gonna suggest going in very thin on your coats just to prevent any uh, over buildup, if you will. So I took it up to three thin coats and you can see on my full hand shot here in just a moment that you can still see just a touch of my smile line. So if that bugs you, you might wanna wear a uh, color correcting base coat or a blurring base coat of some type but the base color is definitely this warm sort of gray and the flakes pop really nicely against it as this iridescent rainbow effect. The uh, smaller little charcoal flakes in here, I uh, do agree they are very much on the smaller size and they kind of give you that little speckled effect. So this dries down semi-gloss. I think any top coat will work with this one too. And you can see on the full hand shot here uh, what I'm talking about with my smile line. And our guest maker, Baby Girl Lacquer, brings us Queen Akasha, Mother of All Vampires. This is described as a powder blue to soft purple solar crelly with lots of assorted flakes. So in indoor lighting and when you're away from any type of UV exposure like the sunlight or like a nail lamp, it's going to have this very powdery, soft blue effect. And when you get out in the sunshine or you can also do it with a uh, gel lamp, uh, it will turn purple. So the formula to this one has a very jelly-like formula to it. There is a soft, squishy factor. And for opacity, I'm going to suggest three coats on it. Now, depending on how you polish, uh, if you go in very, very thin on your coats, typically you're really going to see your smile line. And if you go in normal, which I am applying here what I consider just a touch thinner as it does have that strong, squishy factor and you want to prevent any over buildup for it, um, I think you can still see just a touch of my smile line so this has more of that milky sort of effect to it and again if that bugs you I'd strongly suggest a uh, smile line or nail line blurring base coat now on the third coat here, you can see that there is quite a bit of flaky action. The flakes are of the very small sizes in my opinion, and it kind of gives you once again, that nice speckled effect. Now here on the second hand shot, this is what it looks like when you'll be in the sun. So a really nice dramatic difference between the indoor and the outdoor appearance. Now, Ribbits and Stickets brings us extra goodies this month. I'm showing you guys her acetone additive first. I have fallen in love with this acetone additive. I've been using it quite a bit as I've been reviewing it over the last several months, uh, quite a lot. And I really like that the inside of it has that stopper, like dropper sort of thing, because I recently lost my glass dropper for my acetone additives. And this is wonderful for me to use just two to three drops in my Dappen dish when I'm cleaning up during swatching and that bottle is quite large. That is 30 milliliters. Now she also brings us the unforgettable hand and cuticle cream. I'm surprised I said that in one take. Um, this one is two ounces and this is another product I've fallen in love with too. Uh, I'm planning on doing a uh, moisturizing uh, review and just kind of 
compiling all the things I've tried recently. Uh, this is one of my recent favorites. I really like it. It soaks into the skin very well and it does not leave you greasy. I typically don't mind. I prefer really heavy moisturizers, but this has that heavy moisturizing ability, but it's really good for swatching and that I can put it on about 10 minutes before working on photos and my skin doesn't look so, so oily. Now these are scented in All Your Wishes Have Come True, which is a house blend of tea, jasmine, sandalwood, patchouli, orange, rose, vanilla, tobacco, and oriental spices. And smelling it in front of me here, it smells very clean. I definitely get this uh, tea and just a touch of that uh, earthy sort of tone to it. It is very, very subtle. So if you're sensitive to smells, um, I definitely recommend it. Now, Ribbits and Stigets also brings us a water slide decal sheet. You can add this one on for six, and you can see all the images here from the movie. And uh, this month, I'm switching it up just a little bit. I uh, kind of try to be a little different each month. And uh, what you want to do is cut out the image you're going to use, soak it in water for uh, maybe 10 seconds. It's pretty quick. And a lot of times for placement of these, I will use a clear jelly stamper of some sort. But I wanted to show you guys this month um, how I typically apply these uh, if I'm not using the stamper. So you can see it's very forgiving in placement and you can kind of slide it around with your finger or uh, maybe even like a silicon wedge tool, something like that. And uh, it takes like maybe a minute or two for it to like really adhere to your base color. And uh, you can see here, I'm just able to move it exactly where I want it. Clean up the excess of the decal with just acetone. In my case, I'm using the acetone softened with the acetone additive. Now the box will release on pre-order April 9th at noon Eastern time and will run until April 16th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern time. The box with the full three size polishes is 30 plus shipping. And of course you can always add on those ribbits and stick its goodies. I will link you guys below to the shop and the Facebook group if you'd like to check that out. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.